Welcome to the Sea Skirt dissection. Here we have a New Zealand rocky shore sea squirt called Namurakapa bicornuta. Few features to distinguish initially. We have the outer leathery test. Got the oral siphon where water is sucked in and the atrial or exhalant siphon where water is forced out and then on the base of it we've got the attachment area where it was attached to a rock. We'll start the dissection by opening up the test starting at one siphon and working around the outside to the other siphon being careful to make sure we don't cut too deeply to damage the animal inside. So the test is removed. So we've still got the oral siphon and the atrial siphon. The next part of the dissection is to make a fine incision with the scissors around the outside of the animal. This time definitely making sure you do not go too deep. So now we want to carefully pin the bottom side down and Carefully lift the other side. At this stage, it's best to put some water in your dish. What typically happens with this species is we cut through the pharynx and split it open, so we end up with pharynx on both sides. Some species, when we open it up, all of the pharynx will be on one side and you'll be able to see clearly the uh, digestive tract on the other side. So I will have to remove the pharynx off this side so we can see the digestive tract but quickly I shall just note some features. So we've got this darker material on both sides is the gonads of the animal and you should just be able to make out the digestive tract over this side. Before I remove this, we'll just note that on this outer edge here, we have the endostyle, which is a tube that secretes mucus, which allows the food to move. Once it gets filtered by the pharynx, moved around and enters into the esophagus and then the intestine. Make sure you have a good look at the nature of the pharynx as well. Here's a close-up of the pharynx. Note the neck-like structure. 
Now we'll have a look at the oral siphon, whether it enters into the pharynx. So note the small little sensory tentacles in this little structure here. There's a ciliated fu funnel and the subneural gland. Just up from the subneural gland you should be able to find the dorsal ganglion and the dorsal lamina which runs up the animal. In order to see the stomach, the gut and the excretory vesicles you might have the pharynx in the way on this side so I'll just remove that carefully Okay, so I've removed a lot of the pharynx on this side of the animal to expose the stomach and the gut. You note know, food is sucked in with water, gets caught in the slotted pharynx, and is then moved to where the endostyle was, which was around the outside of the animal. It's then passed into the esophagus. It goes via the stomach and the intestine to the anus which is beside the atrial siphon and it is passed out there with the water as it is forced out. Also note we've got some excretory vesicles around the gut, a large gonad on this side and also on the other side of the animal. Have a closer look at this muscle fiber. Here we have a close up of the muscle fibers on the body wall of the animal. Also, note a little crustacea that often is found living within the animal, just picking up any food debris that the animal misses.